All right, here's the situation. This pass is the only way out of the valley, and the army clearly doesn't want us leaving anytime soon. So why don't we just climb it? We don't know what's on the other side of that pass. We're going to need food, medicine, transportation. You know, the usual. So what? We tear it down? Nah, no way we can tear down this barricade by hand. Zeds would have us for breakfast before we made it ten feet. Can we blast our way through? What? I'm thinking outside the box. No, I like it. It's got a certain devil-may-care panache. So, what's the plan? I guess we need to find some explosives. Big ones. What about the other survivors? We can't just abandon them and hope they figure out the problem with the water. You're right. Start putting the calls out to everyone we know. Tell them we're getting ready to move. We're all getting out of here. Ready to go collect some explosives? Come with me. I've got an idea. Now, if we're lucky, when the troops pulled out, they left behind anything too heavy to carry. Maybe including artillery shells. If they did, the ammo would be in this warehouse. There's just one problem. Let me guess. Hordes of shrieking ravenous undead. Congratulations. You're less of a fuck-up than some four-star generals I know. Um, we might have a problem here. What's up? We've been looking through some of the records the army left behind. Looks like before the main force pulled out, a bunch of soldiers got sick. It sounds like the same thing now that it happened in the Anyway, they ran out of room in their infirmary, so they started putting this in anywhere they could find room, including a certain warehouse. The warehouse I'm headed to right now. Yeah, that place is gonna be lousy with zombies. I actually had to go What's the word? <laughs> Happy to help. We might actually unfuck ourselves at this rate. Zombies up ahead. Go through, go around. <laughs>
That's exactly what we need. Roger that. I'll take care of these. You go make sure you and your people are all stocked up and ready to blow this shit stand. All quiet here. Okay, this is it. All right, I'm gonna set the charges. Cover my ass. I'm guessing nobody else here knows how to set blasting charges so they'll actually take down the barricade without collapsing the pass. Let me put it in technical terms. No boom. Must be a problem with a detonator. Keep these assholes off me while I go check. Keep an eye out to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, we are royally screwed. The detonator's shot, or else the receiver is. 
Bottom line, there's no way to blow this thing from a safe distance. Can't we just shoot it? Set it off that way? What is this, an action movie? This is C4 we're talking about here. You can light it on fire and it won't go off. It only detonates if you hit it with an electrical current. So, what? We're trapped? Well, unless somebody walks up to the bomb, rips the electrical leads out of the detonator, and jams them into the charge by hand, yeah. I'll do it. What? I'll set it off. No, Look, you can't. I'm living on borrowed time as it is. It's not like anyone's still making the meds I need, right? Please. I'd rather go out like this than lying delirious in a bed somewhere. Sorry, kid. <coughs> If we're going by who's dying first, I got you beat by at least a few months. Besides, you wouldn't even know which end of the wire to strip. You sure about this? Christ, no. I want to live, but... Well, since that's not looking too likely, I might as well be the guy you tell your grandkids about. Hey! You assholes better build a statue of me. Lily, we don't have the time. Just a second. What is that? I just... I wanted to leave something behind. For the people that didn't make it. Even if nobody knows what it means but us. They deserve to be remembered. Come on, Lil. Mother of God. What do we do now? We go to work.